my name is Madison Cooner, aka Medicine, if you are curious. Um, I am 21 and I am in fashion design. So My name is Matthew Leventhal. I am 20 years old, turning 21 in five days, and I'm a finance major at George Washington University. My name is Natalie Paris Snyder. I'm 21 years old. My major is fashion merchandising, and my minor is accessories and dyeing. Well, my name is Marco Perea. I am a 22-year-old student at Kent State University. I'm studying English and writing. You kind of just need to pack minimally and deal with it. Like, I just carried my backpack around and wore, well, it was colder than expected, so I wore the same five outfits at one time. I need to get three suitcases on my bed and then just fill a bunch of crap in there, and that's basically what I did to pack. Pack for any type of weather, honestly, because what I've learned from going to music festivals with going anywhere, you do not know what type of weather you're going to do end up dealing with you can get like a snowstorm or a rainstorm or a monsoon or maybe just a hot sunny day you never know so just pack for any type of weather my tips for packing well I'll, I'll tell you what what my buddy Rick Steves told me as we were having wine last week he, he said Mark Mark there's one thing you have to you have to keep in mind I said what is that Rick and he said pack light and I thought he said, pack a light so I have a bunch of light bulbs. I brought my scale here. For all of you people watching, I would recommend you either buy a scale while you're here or bring a scale from home. Because just being in Italy, um, you're going to eat a lot. You know what I started with packing? I, uh, I started with um, actually all these books. I packed all these books first because uh, that's important. Everyone has a signature piece that they always wear. Some of them is earrings, some of them is necklaces. My, in particular, are headbands. <laughs> that isn't clothing. Like every necklace ever that I own, every hat ever that I own, I've also brought, that's not clothing, mm, my notebook, and deodorant, God bless. My ideal outfit, well, it's hippie, boho, comfy. My ideal outfit. I love leggings. I love maxi skirts, maxi dresses, obviously. Just a very comfy but chic style. I really love, I love just patterns. Patterns is mixing different types of patterns. I'm always asked to describe my style or my outfit and I never can because my friend calls me like a schizophrenic style person because Every day, like, especially like with movies and stuff, like my style will change based off of like a character or something just because I like everything. My ideal outfit uh, is either bought and, uh, in uh, Louisa della Roma or somewhere in France. I, I, I don't know. Preferably a blazer. Uh, I'd never owned one a blazer before, but I think if I were to have an ideal, uh, a blazer, you know, would be, would be there, you know, along with a book deal. Blazer and a book deal, I think those were, those, those would go hand in hand. Yeah, this is what I wear normally, I would say. Um, some say I dress like a 40-year-old man, um, but you know what, I'm comfortable in it. It's what I enjoy. Oh, God, describe myself in three words. It's, um, eccentric, very eccentric, happy, and lovable. <laughs> um, jumbled because I made that word up, or the phrase for it at least. Um, okay, eccentric, that one's kind of like whatever, but third word. I feel um, very introspective, creative, uh, and inappropriate sometimes. Mm, lost, because right now I'm lost. <laughs> I, honestly, if I had to pick myself in three words, I would say, um, I would say calm, I would say uh, curious, and uh, I would say uh, perverse. Why would I be the life of the party? Because I got tequila in my veins. The life of the party. I mean, I bring the party to the life, per se, if you want to do that. Like, for me, life is a party. I just have fun wherever I go. I just bring the best happy vibes wherever I go. What is ridiculous about me? I don't really care what people think about me. So 
I'm also weird. And it works out. That's the life of the party. But when people bring happier vibes to me, I'm like, yeah, hey, like, let's be happy together, you know? Yeah, well, yeah, I, 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 no, I, I didn't ever want to be the life. I wanted, I wanted to be the death of the party. I'm an extrovert, yeah. The end. Period. Um, I feel like the people who are the party starters are um, like very exuberant and like super extroverted. And I wouldn't say like I'm super extroverted, um, but I would say that um, I can contribute to a party atmosphere. I feel like uh, I could keep it going once it gets to that point, but I'm never the person to like yell like shots for everybody, you know, or start like the beer funnel. That's not really me. No, I, I don't think so. It holds too much responsibility. But I, I like to think that I, I am a spark of something. A spark, mark, no. My one piece of advice, just travel, experience new things, do something that you never have done before. Just like I'm quoting Grateful Dead right now, what a strange trip it has been, you know? Just do stuff for the first time. Be spontaneous, go places, just even just exploring by yourself and seeing this everywhere you look is a new memory. It's just something about learning language. You develop a whole different personality. And you also get to meet, you'll meet some really great people. We met this lady at the bar the other night who's 52 and she's doing 52 new things. And she, that was her advice to us. Like, you're young, do it. And I'm like, you know what? Spend it all the money. But it's something that I'm never gonna experience again. It's an experience that you'll never be able to get at any other point in your life, and I'm so thankful that I was able to have this experience. And um, I'm so happy I did it. But you know, say, you know, learn a language or bring money for a lot of clothes. You know what? I love a good hot dog. I love a good morning. I can always read too, because guess what? The universe and everything is always on your side. I was known as the best risk manager of in the history of my fraternity, actually, for all the risk I've managed. Why, well, why were the books so important? I, uh, I don't know, I, I needed something to rest my head on in the airport. This is normal to have this many sunscreens and potions in your face. I want to do the Alex turns to alcoholism, the documentary. It's like, adati tutti culo. You know what? Like, it all.